So today guys, I'm gonna show you how to replace the spark plugs on your MR16 DDT. <laughs> Um, this is the process for the version 1 engine, the version 2 engine is a little bit different. Uh, so this car is completely stock, so we have our engine cover, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. There's four mounting tabs, we just lift up on those to remove it, we'll just set it aside. Now, your spark plugs are underneath all of this plumbing here, and it might look like a lot of work to get to them. It's really not, you only need to take a couple of things off to actually get to them. So. One of those things is this pipe here and this hose here. So to remove these, we're gonna need um, a 12 millimeter socket with some sort of extension and swivel to get back here. We're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench to get this bracket off over here. And then we're gonna need some pliers to get this off right here. You're also going to wanna take this solenoid off. This is the boost control solenoid. Um, it's two 10 millimeter bolts. You can use a ratchet once you get this hose out of the way to get those off. So to get this diverter valve line off, we just squeeze the clip, give the hose a little, and walk it off like that. We just put our clamp back on there so that we don't misplace that. And then I kind of just tuck it under there so it's a little out of the way. Now we're going to take this boost control solenoid off. As you can see, there's a 10 millimeter there, a 10 millimeter there. Once you move that big hose out of the way, you can actually get an extension with a socket on there. And you can loosen that right up. Now, I don't recommend removing any of these hoses yet, um, or even unplugging it, just so you don't misplace it. But you do need to take that off. Okay, so we have that off, it's free floating now. Next thing we wanna do is take off this bracket here. You can either take off the 10 millimeter down here or this 10 millimeter up here, uh, depending on what you have for tools. So I'm just gonna take this bracket off. I mean, this mount off right here, just cause it's easy enough for me with the tools that I have. All right, so we're at the back of the top intercooler pipe right here. There's a nut right there that we need to take off. And then on the other side, there's also another one. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those. They are 12 millimeters. Now once we have those off, we can actually lift this pipe up and it will come free. Um, you just release this, take that off, and then we can move this. Now, this uh, hose right here, just sort of pop that off. There's a clamp on it. You can do the clamp with your fingers and the hose should just come right like that. We're gonna take this pipe and we're just gonna bend it off to the side and then just shove it underneath something to hold it over here. Um, now we have access to three of the plugs. Then if we move this hose here out of the way, and we take our boost control solenoid and we kind of move that out of the way, we now have access to all four of our coil packs to get to our spark plugs. So these are the coil packs. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the 10 millimeter bolts that hold them in. Just do this all in one step so we don't have to change tools out over and over and again. They should not be very, very tight. Um, they are housed in plastic. So once we remove those, we can now take the coil packs out. Now when you lift them up, they have the plug on them. You wanna lift them up a tiny bit before you actually take the plug off. Some of the plugs are hard to get to. So you can lift it up. You squeeze a little tab, and then the plug comes right off. We're gonna do that on all of them. Okay, so we have all of them unplugged. Now we're gonna take them out very carefully, set them down. Keep them in the order in which you remove them so they all go back to where they came from. Really, that doesn't matter unless you have a misfire problem you're trying to diagnose, but it's a good practice uh, to get into. All right, so now we are ready to remove these spark plugs themselves. Uh, so these spark plugs actually are 14 millimeters. They're not like your old school 5.8 spark plug. So you just want to get a 14 millimeter deep socket. They do sell 14 millimeter spark plug sockets now. But if you don't have one, this works fine. You're gonna want a good amount of extensions. And we're just gonna pop that down there. And we're gonna loosen them all. 
and then we're gonna go and take them out after we loosen them. Okay. Now once you loosen them, you can hand loosen them all the way so they're no longer threaded in. And to get them out, you're gonna want a magnet um, or some really long needle nose pliers. Some magnet works best, obviously. Alright, so now that we have our plugs out, we're going to put our new plugs in. The standard spark plug gap, according to Nissan, is 0 0.035. So these need to be gapped down. Once you have the plug gapped, you're just going to stick your fingers as far in as you can and just put it in there. And then you go ahead and put all of the spark plugs in and you torque them down. Um, if you want to know the torque specs, I don't have them. Um, you just do it till it just gives you a little bit resistance and then that's it. It doesn't have to be super, super tight. You go too tight, you can actually pull the threads right out of the head. So once you do that, it's just reverse what you just did. Everything goes back on and that's it. That's how you do the spark plugs on your MR16 DDT or your Nissan Juke. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you go check out the new website we have up, thefastreligion.com. You can get all kinds of merch, decals, and you can also read more about the builds we're doing. In the meantime, why don't you check out these other cool videos that we have going on, and make sure you hit that subscribe button.